The skeleton has many functions. Name two functions of the skeleton and explain how these functions are provided by the skeleton. Justify why these functions are relevant to performance in a sporting activity of your choice. And this is a six mark question. As with all six mark questions, we will get two marks for AO1, which are points or showing knowledge, two marks for AO2, which are explanations or examples, and two marks for AO3, which is evaluation and analysis. For this question, the first part in terms of naming two functions and explaining them, that's going to be our AO1 and AO2. And then when we justify these functions in and how they are relevant to sporting performance, that's our AO3 marks there. There are six different functions of the skeletal system that you can see on the screen now, and you can discuss any two of these six, but always try to think which are gonna be easiest to um, discuss in terms of a sporting activity. So we're gonna be discussing rugby as an example here. So we have chosen protection of vital organs and movement, so because these two functions are probably the easiest to explain in terms of their relevance to performance in rugby. You can format the answer however you like, but it may be easiest to use two main paragraphs, each with an AO1, an AO2, an AO3. So for our first paragraph here, our point can be that one function of the skeleton is protection. For AO2, for our explanation, we could say protection is provided by flat bones. And we might give an example as well. So we could say, for example, the sternum protects the heart and the lungs. For AO3, we then need to delve into the relevance to performance in a sporting activity of your choice. So we've gone with rugby here, and we've said rugby involves tackling, whereby poor technique can result in a bang to the head. The cranium is important to protect the brain in this instance. We could also give an example of a tackle. So if a player is tackled offensively by an opponent in the midriff, their ribs will be required to protect them from damage to their lungs. For our second main paragraph, we're going to discuss movement. So for AO1, a further function of the skeleton is movement. For our AO2, we can explain this. So joints allow movement to occur. We might say that tendons join muscles to bones, allowing for this movement. For our AO3, once again, we've got a link to our sporting activity, so rugby here. Joints such as the knee allow players to use flexion to crouch down to make a tackle. Tendons and ligaments allow for a wide range of movement, meaning a player can get low enough to scrimmage effectively. So we've given some specific examples here from the sport of rugby. Once again, if you've used some of the other functions of the skeletal system, that's absolutely fine, as long as you've got your AO1 stating what they are, AO2 explaining them or giving an example, and AO3 linking to a sporting performance.